Alright. So let's do this. Uh, there's still some, there's some coughs throughout. Still not over the whole thing. It's a very lingering thing here. But anyway, let's watch this one. I think this is cool. In terms of overall notes and detail notes, I think this is good to go. In an actual writing, if this was for a movie, <coughs> we would probably say that this is too close. Because of, it's almost like the magic camera that takes no damage, even though it's a little bit of shake here. It's still crazy for a real chopper to go through. So, CG, no problem. Uh, if this was work environments, we would say, ah, uh, too close. You know, and then textures that close, you know, it would be blurry. Um, that'd be my only concern, but I think uh, it's still fine here. That new move is not too bad. The problem with it is, I think it's too much. I would take, that's your building, and then your camera is doing basically this, right? I would cut that in half. Only because <clears throat> the the framing is odd, because you start, I think it's right on the cut, but we're pretty low. Then we get pretty high, it's not too bad. But then we get really low. And then we get really high, and then at the end, as we go down, we're kind of even though the exit's there, like we're kind of looking here, and that's it's not very clear. So, throughout the course of the shot, shoo, 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 like there's a lot to, for the audience to go up and down, and you want to make it clear and you want to look at the awesome animation. So, um, I would just say just reduce that. It also makes it a bit CG where it's this big, big move. Uh, with a physical camera, this will be very, very fast. So I think cutting in half would be interesting because you still have this view. And you get maybe, so we're getting from, you know, like maybe maximum here. But because you have less movement there, you know, you might be able to, to frame the character better. Just a bit. And you can also have, you know, maybe slight handheld or a bit further away. So, but you're still going to have that motion, so you, you don't have to go up and down, up and down, so crazy. You, you want to follow that character. So, let me just cut to... From there. Actually, well, I sort of loop since we aren't. Uh, my slider. Cool. It's really nice. I like how your swing here is not too fast. It gives it weight. And I like that little table there on the on the leg right there. Right there. Oh. How it rests that foot here. And then brings it up spray. You know, if you want if like detail stuff, it will be your here. And but from here to here, it's the same orientation, especially when you go in. So you could start curling fingers, and then here it might be like this far out. And then as you come in, imagine on this pose, the foot is here. So it's still keyframe here because even though it's off screen, but it will mean that you would start. The rotation back in over time. If that makes sense. <coughs> <coughs> Here, this is cool. It just feels a bit loose because you have this grip, and then it's this grip. So maybe at this point the fingers would be lower, it's going to be higher. It's some adjustment maybe to see that it's a tighter grip. <coughs> Same thing on the other hand. Like from here, you know, like there's nothing in the fingers. Basically, you want to start doing finger work. Uh, this feels like a linear key as your hand boop hits this part. And you have elbow movement going this way, but then nothing happens on the wrist. Like a broken IK wrist. This is almost, there is an arc, but it starts almost straight, which is also very IK, and the wrist orientation doesn't change. So, all that stuff, just get rid of IK, armitis. extension that's cool yeah rest is cool yep 
down here. Maybe as he's here, you could at this point. Like he starts to kind of magically go up. I think I see right here a little chest up. Like you could bring up that head and maybe two frames stronger the chest. Meaning that, you know, he's curved this way and through here, you want a really strong feeling of it goes from this to <clears throat> up here. Like chest goes back, head goes back, stretches forward, really using that body momentum to propel himself forward. Otherwise, it's You could also argue he could pull on this as well. So as you push this, imagine he's pulling, pulling himself forward. So meaning that maybe by now that hand will be like this, but the hand will be just curved this way. It's like, like he pushed, pulled and pushed, and it has that momentum going backwards. So the hand will be rotated back. So yeah. Just in and out points here, and we are here. This one's awesome. I still love this. Same thing, note here, you know, fingers are always kind of the same. Start, especially through here when you're quiet, like that feels. You can, you can go slightly curled, be a bit straighter, and get at this point into a more. Uh, more fisty thing, fist, 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 then almost straighten a bit more into kind of like a, oh, like a oh, fanning out almost of hands so that here it doesn't feel so curled. This is really nice and it has a feeling of stretchiness and it's uh, and then the fingers are, uh, you know, what I mean? like there's no tension, there's no that push off, that tension is not here. Little finger stuff. Could push. I don't know how you. I know how much you would read it, but you could try it. Where through here you start raising shoulders, raising shoulders, like, oh, arms up, shoulders up, and then fah, shoulders down. You get almost like that type of feel, like a triangle, like speeding up. Again, at that speed, not sure how much you would read it, but it could be interesting to see. So it might just be enough to see how much um, you might almost feel it. Also, I'm not sure it's hard to see with those pieces, but don't forget to rotate that hip down this way. Because it's this guy's pushing down, and it's not that it's like a massive move up, brings up that side of the hip, but you could still um, see if there's anything that would make it. Feel, just you want to feel that stretch down that takes down that side of the hip a bit. Again, it might be too fast, it will never see it. It might just be enough to feel it. It is pretty fast though, but just in case. Also, I'm not sure if this rig you're switching to high res or this is always low res. Um, but yeah, some potentially something to try out. Be cool though, just for momentum. He goes, bam, and I would just on this. He bounces back pretty quickly, you know, and he is pretty big. It would be cool to go, boom, and on this <coughs> instead of bouncing so quickly, you would have a frame of two of him actually being flat, the hips against the building. It really flattens because it's so much momentum going forward, boom, and then. The bounce back will be here as you go down. So it will be flat like that. And now it feels like he's doing this. Bounces back immediately. Curious to how that would look like in terms of momentum. It still starts to feel a bit light. Uh, cool to get a little arm change. Like once you hit here, same arm. Which again, if you flatten this, it might help a bit. But as you go back, you might want to, you know, maybe your grip here is not as high also wouldn't break that wrist so your arm might be only this low like he's holding on 
and then throughout the course again the QP is low and then over the course of this it brings up that arm because you're sliding down right that could be something just for a visual post change there I would give if you can more squash here uh, man low just try it try it to get into like the pose like this his butt is right down there to really give this feel of well even though I'm strong I gotta go down and squash and then jump off it's a bit magical here Boop. it comes off that was always a tricky thing with Hulk no, I never animated the Hulk but just see you can hear people just get massive weight and the force yet still make it heavy press is cool Same thing, no post changes, not so loose, it feels very relaxed and all this. Those stronger, tighter hand poses. Now, your thumb, please uh, bring out this guy a bit more and then you can curl in. Same thing, maybe this would be in. I'm not sure if it's still up with the thumb here, but just something where you might stretch out the first two and then curl in the rest. Just give it a bit more tension. I mean, this is a general load, don't worry. I'm gonna play both here. <clears throat> uh, and yeah, still massively. Whoa! It feels like he has lasso here and he holds on, and phew, someone just suddenly stops him and he comes to a stop here. He's at least two more steps forward. That momentum is still there. I mean, I would continue. <clears throat> and in this, he could almost take two steps and turn around on the last step, you know? So it's. You still have that end framing, and you might translate forward a bit with the camera, but it will continue the momentum in this one, and then turn around. I think that could be interesting. That way it doesn't feel like we need to finish it in this shot. It almost feels a bit forced, so you cut, cut on action, like in something like here, like on something like this. But again, like it feels like you translate curve, goes, just stops. So I would still work on that a bit. Yeah. This is also a bit much here. This feels like he's landing and purposely pushing off to crash onto this wall. Mainly because if you look at the speed and roll and then slightly faster, which is in real time. Poof. Second extra, I am pushing off on purpose. Which feels a bit weird unless he's being shot at. And you're saying, well, I got to jump out of out of uh, danger mode here. But, you know, there's no shooting before, so this wouldn't be as clear. So I probably, I like, I like the idea of him hitting it like this. But maybe make this less controlled, not as fast of a push off. And it's more him bouncing around and being slightly out of control. This is a very controlled pose. And then suddenly, yet yeah, he's out of control. So that's also a bit contradictory. So I wouldn't go as fast and as far and be more out of control pose-wise and to match this. And that's cool. It's really neat. I, mean, I like all the posing afterwards, the steps and all that. It's all really cool. Same hand notes. He also could have like a slight slide. Take another step. It's here. Yeah, sliding forward, slide, turns around. Anyway, here is kind of what I have. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.